In this video, I made a gorgeous DIY Dollar Tree glam centerpiece. And I actually seen this style on Wayfair. That's where I got my inspiration from. So I just went off of what I seen and put my own spin to it using Dollar Tree materials. Guess what y'all, this is a collab video with two other awesome DIYers that have some wonderful YouTube channels. It's Tammy B. Jones and she is known for if you don't want to buy it, then just DIY it. Y'all, she has some wonderful videos. She's done some thrift store hauls, and she also likes glitter and glam. So be sure to check out her channel and what her centerpiece looks like, and also Hannah's Daily Life. And she, too, does a lot of DIY Dollar Tree videos and loves the glitter and glam. And she has a lot of vlog videos as well. So they're both two fantastic channels. So I'll be sure to give you the information in the description box. And here's what I decided to do. And I'll go ahead and show you how I made that. For this project, I'll be using a 13 inch pizza pan that I found in the kitchen section of Dollar Tree. And I just spray painted it white. And I broke some mirrors that I also got at Dollar Tree. And um, I'm going to be using some gloves and some of the adhesive that I also found at Dollar Tree, as well as a roll of masking tape. And what I'm going to do is take my tape and tape a large X on it. And what I should have done is press the um, tape all the way down on the pizza pan. And you'll see why later on in the video, but I didn't do that. Um, but you you do want to go ahead and put you some tape down to mark it. The next thing that I do is I just start taking my glass pieces and setting them on my pan. And I'm wanting to kind of define the center of it. So I lay out some chunkier pieces on the corners where, you know, the corners kind of come together. I discovered an amazing shortcut for this so um with my glove i just took my thumb i'm right-handed so i just took my right thumb and i kind of wiped the um top of the the glue and i was getting a little glue on my glove anyway so i had just a little glue on that was kind of a built up on my thumb and so i could just take my thumb and you know press it right on top of any of those little mirrors and it was picking it up for me so I could just grab and go and it was just really, really easy. It made the project go by a lot faster instead of having to, you know, get my fingers around each little piece. So I wanted to share that quick little shortcut with you guys. If you decide to do this or do any mirror grouting, this was a huge time saver. So after you get them all glued down, then you want to pick up your pizza pan and just make sure you don't have any loose mirror pieces on there. So just pick it up and tilt it and maybe shake it just a little bit. And if any mirror pieces do fall off, like in my situation, they did. So I just glued them uh, where I had them placed um, and moved on to my next step, which was removing my masking tape. But what I had was some grout and all you've got to do is add water and I just took um, about I don't know a little more than a half a cup and I mixed it with water and I've done grout before and so I'm just mixing a small amount and I knew that I wanted it to be uh, kind of like you would want cake batter or pancake batter just a little thick but not runny you don't want it runny so after I got my mixture just right then I let it sit for about 10, 15 minutes. Let it sit for 15 minutes. I am going to take a little plastic spoon and just dip it out of my little bowl here and spread it around the glass and just work the grout in between the grooves of the glass. And that's all there is to it. Now, there are some parts of this that I worked in with my fingers. But um, you get that worked in, and we're going to let that sit for 20 minutes. Something else you could do is, with a dollar, 
go to Dollar Tree and in their hardware section grab some spackling and this is a lot smoother and what you could do instead of the grout is you would put the spackling on the plate first and then place your mirrors in there and let it sit for a couple of hours and it would work just fine I actually thought about this afterwards but um, like I said, I've done this before in another project on some shells from Dollar Tree. And I'll leave that in the link below if you want to check it out. Our grout has to sit. So in the meantime, I'm going to use these faces that I found at Dollar Tree. And what I love about them is the detail, like the little notches hanging out. And I just took some Mod Podge and uh, went over those little uh, details right there where the notches are. And then I went over the Mod Podge with some glitter just to kind of define that a little bit and I've done the same thing to the rim of these faces and if I didn't mention this of course I spray painted them white then to top them off I just went around the center with some diamond wrap so after our grout has set for about 30 minutes I'm going to take a wet cloth which in my case I used um, some old socks some clean socks <laughs> but anyway what you want to do is wet you a cloth and get it nice and wet and <clears throat> go over your mirrors and make sure you don't have any grout on there because it's going to be so so hard <laughs> to get off of the mirrors if you don't get it off now and it'll kind of it'll it'll be kind of hard but uh, when you go over it with a moist cloth or even a sponge it'll kind of soften up but yeah you just want to wipe all your grout off all your loose grout and it's so easy to do and then once you get that done you're going to let it sit for two hours after that has set for two hours your grout is is good and hard now so what you want to do is take a dry cloth of some sort and you'll go through and you'll wipe it off with that and it's going to be very greedy so you want to make sure to have something under it and it's it's going to be actually a little sandy too so it's just going to um, wipe off really easily as a matter of fact I wiped some parts off with my hand and then uh, I went over um, that with a soft paintbrush and just dusted it off and that's all that I've done now to clean the mirrors you can just use a paper towel with hot water or a cloth with hot water I've done grout before as I mentioned before and uh, I used Windex and the area that I use Windex you could tell it it turned blue so you want to either use clear Windex or hot water the very last thing that I do to my plate is I define um, our trim on this so I go through with Mod Podge again and I do this on the X in the center and I go over that with glitter and I do the same thing on the outer rim I go back to my candle holders and I'm going to use these globes that are in the candle section of Dollar Tree and I'm I just went around the center with some masking tape because I'm going to go from the masking tape below with Mod Podge and glitter. And then I'm going to use E6000. I finally found it later on in the day. So I'm going to use E6000 and Gorilla Hot Glue to secure these on. Actually, I'm gluing them to the bottom of the vase. Because I'm going to have the vase upside down. I think the, the glitter on the uh, notches of the vase kind of flow together with the glitter on the bottom of the globe so I just liked it that way I almost forgot I used this um, display easel that I found in the picture frame section of Dollar Tree right, so instead of the grout you could use um, spackling and Dollar Tree has this in their hardware department and I've seen this in every Dollar Tree I've went to so you shouldn't have a hard time finding this I put some mirror pieces on a board here and all you got to do I would normally be wearing a latex glove, but um, I'm working with what I got here. So I'm just going to take it and spread it out. I'm doing this with one hand because I'm holding my camera in the other hand. Then I would go back and wipe off the mirrors. But even better, you could actually take the spackling and go on and just 
wipe it on the uh, pizza pan like I did. And if you see that uh, shelf video, you'll know what I'm talking about. So I just put the spackling on the shelf first and then I put my mirrors on there. You could actually do it that way and this would make this project so much faster. I wish I had a thought about that before I started. I thought about it midway and just wanted to share that with you because you could do this project for way cheaper and keep it all 100% Dollar Tree. This quote is from Colleen Taylor and her says, listen to what you know instead of what you fear. Thank you, Colleen, for sharing that quote with us. And if you know of a quote that has inspired you, just leave it with us in the comments.